and welcome to Star Citizen 3.0. There we are again in the verse. There's the music that we all know and love. Not that crackly ambient stuff. The real orchestral emotional depth that we expect. I'm looking at the universe and thinking about how lonely it is. Endlessly traversing. Knowing that there's only 50 other people that you could potentially bump into in a vast solar system such as Stanton. We know there are only four planets. They're not even planets, they're moons. In fact, come to think of it, this isn't even a whole solar system, is it? No, 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 friends and ladies. This, if there are any ladies, I doubt that very much. But, oh look, I've got 2111. Uh, no, basically, uh, we know that it's, a, it's, only, it's only one planet, actually, Crusader, and the uh, moons thereof, which is Yellen, Zella, uh, Shalimar, and Harmar Superstar. Those are the four moons of the apocalypse, and we shall be jumping in any minute now. Okay, so let me just see what the frames are like. We'll just do that in a second. Um, what I'd like to say is that... Um, Oh, hello. Want to click on that at all? Uh, one thing I do want to say is that last time uh, we had a bit of a dither around. There was a few crashes, a few server lumps and bumps, and uh, we didn't actually make a. Pro we made. I think we spent two hours. We made 700 crowns. So basically, what we'll try and do this time is get a little bit more moolly in the in the in the system. And we're going to see how many how many sobs we can we can cobble together this time. Uh, I've got a few plans. I don't know. We might do the usual stims and uh, blims to grims. Otherwise, you might do some some other shenanigans. I don't know. Maybe diamonds to Ollie, alley to Ollie. That might work. I don't know. We'll have a look. I've got a little list here of locations and what they sell. It's been quite useful. It's quite useful in the in in the early days. We'll stick with that, see what we can rustle up. More than that, I cannot say, peeps. I, I reckon that um, it should be just adjust the lighting ever so slightly. It's all very blue, isn't it? Chris is looking very red-faced this evening. Been hard at work, running up and downstairs, making cups of tea for Aaron. He's got his head stuck in the server again. And they're trying to butter him up. They've got butter all around his ears. Pull a bit harder. I think my ears stuck against the server. That's right. I've got you. Grab him by his armpit hair. Pull. Oh, that hurts. Poor old Aaron. He's always getting his head stuck in the server. Causes all sorts of crashes in the game. Sandy's there. She's got the butter. Said, Put a bit of butter on it. Put a bit more butter on it. She actually talks like that, Sandy, in real life. She's not actually American. She's from Wally Range. It's a little known fact. Uh, but there we are. Um, in regard to that, uh, little known facts. The little known fact of this evening is that we are about to enter the PU. It's nice to see you in the PU. Here we are. Here we are. Look at that. Very nice and tidy. We've got a timer up. It's the music that we know and love. Let's wake ourselves up. Check out the frames. 20 frames. It's not too bad, is it? Looking rather blue there against the orange. Never mind, we shall but try. We shall but try. What can we see? What can we see in the room? It's a different kind of room. The laptop is askance. There's somebody's shaving kit there. Or a lady's manicure system. I have no use of that in the verse. There's a picture of Shanghai. There's a picture of Vati. Wherever the hell Vati is. Have you been to Vati? No, but I've been to Shanghai. Okay, there's the coat hangers. There's the rail. It's there for safety. You know what to do. Look, there's the ruffled orange memory foam as it tries to forget the memory of our sweaty body rolling around having dreams of grim hex. We open up. We're in pod number seven. That's what I'm going to say. We're in pod seven. We're in pod 15. We were wrong by a large amount. We're wrong by eight this time. That's absolutely disgraceful. Never mind. One and five is uh, six so technically in pod seven we're only wrong by one so that's the way i'm going to do it no running in the hallway and one day tommy you will learn to read one day tommy yes right you can do it aegis aegis it's pronounced aegis or aegis or aegis or however chris is pronouncing it this week that's how it's pronounced slows and germs 
Now what we'll do, actually, before we go anywhere at all, let's have a little shifty at the prices tonight. Let's see how the, the market looks. I've got a little list here of previous uh, prices. We'll see how they compare. What I'm going to do is see what ships are available. Oh yeah, I was in the Freelance, so that was quite nice yesterday. That was quite good. Um, right, let's see. Aluminium, blah, blah, blah. Only two for those. Greasium's at 36. Made a terrible loss on that yesterday. Processed food is 15. I think it's only five at certain places, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be wrong about that. Just hold up. Let's just check that. I think if you can get... Hmm... You can go to Dome. I had a real trouble getting to Art Court Mining yesterday. That was one of a real bugbear of mine. Couldn't actually get there. Art Court Mining wouldn't let me find the right distance, spot, location, GPS, coordinates, however you wish to say it. You can say it however you wish to. I choose to say it in that way. Selling. Not so much of a selling as a sell out. Let's try and look for that. Maybe I could go to. Yes, perhaps. Yes, perhaps. What I'll do is I'll go to Kudra Ore and I'll buy some processed food. Not the most exciting mission that you could think of. But hey. Beggars can't be choosers, people. Do you know what I mean? We've only got 80 grand. <laughs> Where's my freelancer? It's right there, where I need it. That's good. Also had a few troubles with ships, the plane, etc. Hmm. In mid sentence, he cut me off in mid sentence. I was just about to tell him his ship was like on the landing pad. Uh, the ship was not landing pad. Was it A2? O2? A2? A2? O2? O2? A2? A2. I tell you what, I ate to O2, but I O2. I O I O. It's off to work I go. In we go. And let's just press the usual widget after a while it becomes like second nature the old space travel look at and go see if we can make some money here people come on up the apples and pears with a glint in your eye and a feeling in your wallet there's going to be an expansive amount of cash entering it very very soon avoid the door striking you on the forehead that's nobody's nobody's favorite way to start the evening Let's just hop in here as the ship slightly spawns itself as Oliver disappears in the distance. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm not even tired. Nothing a little bit of coffee won't solve. Now, famous last words as he nodded off at the controls of the Combine Harvester. Ploughed through a school. Absolute disaster. Right, here we go. In we get. That's what I love about the Freelancer. The seats are actually easy to get into, unlike every other vehicle I could mention. You can help me by taking off. Taking off in a very smooth manner. Just nudge it to the left. Get the landing gear up and let's get the F7C out of here. Rear view. Goodbye everybody. Let's have a look at the ship this evening. How does she look? How does she fare? How does she feel? She feels like a whale. She feels like a beautiful silver dolphin arching her back against the the deep dark blue of the Stanton system. Her blowhole is ready to spurt forth a rainbow. A rainbow of gratitude. As she is freed from her metal prison. She's broken free of Sea World. Now she leaps like an arc of wet muscle against the, the deep azure sky. And off we go. Enough of this nonsense. Let's press the button and find out what's happening. Now, where are we going? Can't remember now. We're going to buy some processed food from Daymar. Not the most exciting of things, but I tell you what, there is something on Daymar that we could do on the way, on the way there. Let's try that. 
actually. That might be worth doing on the way there. We'll have a little something. Look, we never know. We might find something interesting on the way. Um, okay, let's just take control of the what they call the ship. And um, completely blank then. C couldn't remember anything about what I was doing. I'm back in now. Back in the game. Just got to do this for one second here. People, ever, ever so sorry about that. Now, one thing I want to do here. It's a little nudge. Let's just try this little nudge. Something that I was told about. What we're going to do is head to OM1. Perfect. Lovely job. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, now what we're going to do here, something a little bit different. We are literally probably in the right time of day as well to do this. I think if I got my calculations right, which I think I have, um, I'm just going to line this fellow up here like that just get him lined up that's a, that's a boy come on now that's a good boy now what we're going to do we're just going to simply can't see the speed it's a bit of a drag but never mind just going to head off that's 1004 I do believe now what we're going to do is we're going to decouple just going to turn around so that we can see from whence we came. Nope, that's not the one. It could be this one over here. There it is. Now what we're going to do here, we're just going to take a little, what we're actually doing here is we're flying backwards. That's right, we're absolutely flying backwards. That is the the order of the day. There is a very distinct reason for this reversal of fortune. Is that what we're trying to do is follow some instructions, uh, which I'm struggling to remember, to be quite honest. I think it was 472.2. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I've got to get to a point which is 4. 472 kilometers from ON1 I'm going to and then dip my nose down planet side and head for Tamden Plains emergency shelter which will be on the other side of the planet actually but there's method in my madness I'm, I'm trying to locate the glory and the wonder now let me just go through my previous purchases for you I have made some money on stims. I have made money taking... I noticed when I was at Grimhex last time I was there that, the, that there were no medical supplies available and they were up to 91. I went off uh, to the nearest port of call. I think I went to Selin and I bought a load of medical supplies and I brought them back to Grimhex and I made a packet. Something like... I don't know, made something like 40, 50,000 from just one trip. That's probably nothing to some of you seasoned veterans who are much more able to rock the caterpillar and stuff the Starfarer and whip back and forth in the Avenger. But me to me, in my poor old cutlass, that wasn't that wasn't too bad a deal, I must say. Now we're heading uh, we're going at minus one thousand and two, which is lovely lovely speed to go at. We can see here. It's a shame the music doesn't play backwards when you go backwards. That would be good. Although there's a recording of Chris Roberts talking backwards about his dreams of Star Citizen. Yeah. 
Always it's rather yep houses, yeah what? Head head it and forwards. Well, you know, I hope the game's gonna work. I hope that I don't accidentally blow all the money on a yacht or something like that. That would be terrible. Oh mad me. <laughs> terrible with money. No, I don't think that's what he said actually. He said the game's gonna be one of the best damn space sims ever. And he might be right, you know. It might all work out swimmingly. Let's hope so. I believe in you, Chris. I believe in your vision. I believe in the team. I believe in Erin. I believe in Sandy. I believe in ATV, although the last one was... No, I've got nothing against Turbulent either, but it was... It was... It's starting to be... ATV starting to be like a sort of office tour every time. I'm not that interested in the office, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. I do, I, maybe that's not nice of me to say that. I mean, I don't. I'm interested in people. It's nice to see the people and hear their points of view. That's always pleasurable. But I'm not that interested in office spaces. They. I don't actually. I've been doing a lot of admin stuff recently, but I don't. I don't usually work in an office, so I don't. I don't really understand the office environment. I know for a lot of people, it's their sort of home from home in a way. But for me, it's not really something that I. I don't. Most sitting down I do is doing this, to be honest. Right, let's just have a little check what that noise was. I didn't like the sound of that very much. Large explosions are to be discouraged when you're flying a, a tin box through a vacuum. I wonder if there's some kind of penalty for... Um, I wonder if there's some kind of penalty for, for flying backwards after a while. The ship wears out in a different way. You get a tarnished rump. Or your, your I don't know, your dipple thrusters get clogged. Or maybe your accelerometer becomes inverted and turned inside out so the fleshy parts are dangling, exposed to the nether regions of the spatial altitude. That could happen. Nevertheless, you've got to press on, even if that does happen. Even if your thristle widget gets turned inside out, you've got to thrump and thrump again and hope that the hope that the uh, space-time interval doesn't become inverted in a Minkowski accident. Well, we're getting there. Three, five, two. That's you know, not too bad, is it? Not too bad at all. We're enjoying a little, a little light beverage as we move along. Now, I'd just like to say, it may be that nobody's watching, but if you do watch this stream every now and again, if it entertains you in any way, please, please press the like button, follow me, give me some upvotes, uh, give me a likey looky, or even a looky likey, or you know, send me some bits, or um, thristle your your Patreon monkey or, you know, donate through a Uber something, you know what I mean just send me a, send me some love, people drop a comment say it made you laugh once uh, and never again that's fine, but just, you know just let me in on it, you know what I mean because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to grow the stream here I like Star Citizen, I think it's a game that's going places and I really would like to um I'd like to stream it as often as I can, really. Oh, hello. That's another little clump in my shump. Right, we're going 424 here, so we've got to keep an eye on it now. What we're going to do is... I'm not quite sure how to slow down backwards. It might be that that's not possible until I actually... Oh, yes, I do know how to do that, actually. Shouldn't be too difficult. If I Once I hit... Four seven one or something like that. Maybe I can just pull the pull the string. Pull the string. Pull the string. Four five five. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I enjoy the streaming. Uh, I'm going to be doing more with the channel as as time goes on. I'm very very busy at the moment with work, so it takes up my whole day. I've got a little win window at the end of the day here where I can sort of mess around. Oh, hello. gone too far. Hopefully this should... Now 
if I inch it forward now, we should we should be able to make up the difference here. That's a good system, that. I might fly backwards more often. It kind of works, doesn't it? Now, f as far as I'm aware, it's 472.2. So let's just uh, take it nice and steady here. Don't know why I'm going so fast. Kill my speed a little bit here. Look at that, 474. I want to be 4... 472... 472.2. Come on, baby, don't let me down. 472.4 on the nose. Look at that. Now, apparently, if I turn myself to face this, and I look down towards what would be Tamden Plains, which is not actually on this side of the planet at the moment, if I head down now, I've got to keep an eye on the altimeter. I don't know why I'm going so fast. I shouldn't be going that fast. Let's try it about here, that should do it. Let's just nudge it over ever so, ever so. Got to hit that a bit more tidy than that. That's better. Now apparently this is the way to do it. We take it nice and steady, and we're going to inch our way in slowly, slowly, slowly. And what should appear before us is a miracle of modern science, apparently. And we're not talking long jump here. We're not talking shot put or triple jump. We're not talking pole vaulting. Something entirely different. Some other event. Now it looks like it's going to get dark very soon, so we might we might have missed the window slightly, but we'll we'll see how we get on. Not, oh hello. Let's just deal with that. I don't like that very much. get rid of that. There we go. It all looks very dark and dark and gloomy now, doesn't it? Now what I'm waiting for is the altimeter to kick in. It doesn't always kick in. That's one of my big fears. Is the ground is going to come rushing up to meet me. Because Camden Plains is on the other side of the planet. That's why it's reading 501 which I'm guessing means that we are about, I don't know, I can't work it out, let's see, that's 200, that's 200, yeah we're sort of probably about 194 above the surface by now. That's how I read it anyway, I don't know if that's the correct way to read it. Now we haven't bought any cargo yet by the way, so this is why I'm doing this without any cargo in, because I know this could go hideously wrong. Let's just have a little look, see how she fares. Ah, she's looking alright, isn't she? Very nice. Now we are going to come down in the dark here, so one thing I do want to check is what uh, the key bindings and advanced controls are going to be. Uh, what are the lights? How are the lights? Headlights are five. Okay, fine. Nope. No, 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 no. Let's pop you back in the window there. Now 
that's all fine. Don't worry about that. That's all good. That's all good. We're not going to. We're going to take it nice and steady. All right. Going to give you a little nudge. Like one five nine. One five nine. Would you like the one five nine, or would you like the four seven seven? I don't know. I can't tell the difference. Well, one's larger than the other, obviously. With the four seven seven, you know, you've got your four hundred, and you've got your seven seven. Now the seven seven sits on top of the four hundred, sits nestles in there like a seven seven would, and the two angles of the seven fit neatly together, and the angle of the four means the whole unit can be packed down and stored under the bed. <laughs> Now, with your 159, it's very different. You've got two curves there, don't match so well. So, with the 159, it is a cheaper article, but it doesn't collapse down. What you don't get is a collapsibility. With the 477, the whole thing can fold down neatly and fit under a sideboard, under the bed, at the back of the wardrobe. But with the 159, once it's up, it's up. And you, you can dismantle it, but it's quite a procedure. You might have to get a technician to come out here. What do you reckon? Well, the 159 is very attractive. I mean, it's a lot cheaper, obviously. But I do move around a lot, so the 477 might be the unit for me. Now, you've a very, very good choice, yes. A 477 might be for a man of your mobility, let's say. The 477, for a man on the move, the 477 is, is the way to go. Okay, well, let's, let's go for the 477 then. Well, I'm afraid we don't have any 477s in stock. We've only got the 466, which is similar to the 477, but it doesn't pack down. But it is the higher price. So, in that regard, I would go back for the 159. All right, well, we'll go for the 159. Oh, I'm afraid the 159 has just dropped. Um, what we've got left now, we've only got the we've only got the 102 now, which is a much more flimsy unit. Uh, once it's up, it's up, and if you want to take it down, you'll have to get a technician to come out to you and detach it from the main server. Okay, well, let's just forget it altogether then, because I think I'm going to crash into a planet now. Okay, well, call again another time then. Bye bye. Right, so we're 20. Looks like we're 20 kilometers out here. And we... Yes, I don't really know about this. Let's... I think that's my lights on. My lights... My lights are on. All right, that's good. Let's leave the lights on, shall we? It's funny, you know, I've been playing a lot of stationers. Well, not a lot, a little bit. Like 20 minutes a day or something. Doing very badly in the game, but... It's funny, every time I turn a light on now, I wonder, how much power is that using? Because the, the, it's a very hardcore game. Well, not hardcore, but I mean, it's... It's a game in which survival is quite reliant on you conserving power at all times, conserving oxygen at all times. It's quite a, a harsh survival game, I would say. In the sense that you arrive on a planet with absolutely nothing and you've got to sort of build your own base. It's a very good game actually. Let's just slow it right down now because I'm a bit concerned that I'm coming in. I can't tell. I've got my altimeter here telling me all sorts of lies. Okay, 15. That's not too bad. So it's 15 kilometers above the surface. Let's just allow it to drop slowly like that. Now the altimeter has lied to me before now, so I'm g I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it as gospel. You've lied to me before, altimeter. Listen, babe, babe, babe. I won't do it again, babe. I know I've given you wrong impression of the height of your vehicle before, but I would never do that to you again. That was the old altimeter. That was in the bad old, the good old bad old days, love. I'm a different. I'm a changed altimeter now. I'd never lie to you. If I say 13532, it's 13532. No word of a lie. I don't know if I can trust you again. After that time, I slammed my nose directly into Damar's desert. I know. I know that was my fault. I'm a changed altimeter. I promise you I would never lie to you again. All right, well, I'll trust you then. What do what you say? Well, it's about, it's about 15, 15 kilometers out. It says 12 to, to yeah, that's what I meant, 12 to, yeah, sorry, I would never lie to you. Never lie to you. So he's changed now, he's gone up north, hasn't he? Terrible. It's like my default accent now. Right, 449, that's a lie. 11, we're looking at 11 kilometres. Or is that feet? Christ, who knows? So we're coming down now. The plan here, I followed the instructions of somebody who shall be nameless, 
uh, and I don't know if they are a reliable source or whether I paid enough attention. I did it in my lunch break and I'm not sure if I've really watched it closely enough. Let me just do that. Come on now, baby. Five, we're going to slow it right, right the hell down here. Apparently I'm 9,000 metres above the surface. Is that nine? So I'm, nine, I'm either 9,000 feet or 9,000 metres. I don't know what the altimeter is in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slow it right down. Because sometimes this view is a better view. Well, it would seem I'm still really far away. I mean, I don't... I don't see how an altimeter that's telling me I'm 9,000 metres above the surface can be... Well, I suppose it's 9 kilometres, isn't it? I suppose that could be that could be correct. And I could straighten it up. Let's just see if we can straighten things up a little bit. We'll take it under advisement, shall we? Kudra Ore is over there, so that's where we've got to go, actually. Although we might find somewhere nearer that does process food, but we'll see. If we can, if we can swing this, that'd be cool. Or as cool as you can be, sat in your bedroom twiddling around with knobs and buttons. How cool is that? Could be out actually on the streets making a difference. But no, I'm sat here in a virtual bubble of my own making, sipping energy drinks. trying to find the meaning of it all by copying other people who are equally ensconced in their own fictional bubbles of fantasy and desire. All I can see is a cloud of nothing before me. God, this is nerve-wracking, man. I'm going to regret this, I know, but I've just got, I can't, I can't wait around anymore. Seven, five, let's get down to five. Now, you wouldn't lie to me, would you, out to me? Oh, no, babe, no, I wouldn't lie to you. Six, five, six, four, six, three. He was six, two, if he was a, if he was a button. Right, there we go. Twenty-nine metres per second we're coming in out here. I don't think this is working out, people. 5,000 metres out. I don't get it. How are we looking? Not sure if it's right, to be honest. It doesn't feel right to me. Come on now. It's a lot of dithering around for not very much payoff, I have to say. But we're going to keep the faith. We're going to do this. We are going to do this. It's going to work out and everything's going to come out in the end absolutely swimmingly. It's going forward. Don't lie to me, Altimeter, all right? I wouldn't lie to you, babe. I wouldn't lie to you. It's 4-4, four, 4-3, four, 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 We're coming in the 4-1. And now it's 4-0, all right? 3-9, 3-8, 3-7. Am I making sense? You're getting smaller, I know that. I know, I'm shrinking. Help me, I'm shrinking, I'm shrinking. Three, 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 two. Stop me if you've heard this one. But it's now two, nine, two, eight, two, seven. Let's pull it back now. Come on, pull it back. And we're coming down two, three. I mean, I don't even know if I, if I killed the engines, whether the altimeter would stop. We're now 2,000 metres above the surface. The lights are off, the lights are on. It's all good. I'm just on the regular joystick here as a really sort of crappy old Thrustmaster, which is all right budget stick, but I mean, it's not, uh, it's not dual control or anything like that. I've still got the throttle, the old, uh, 
throttle widget, which I don't mind. I've accidentally pressing the buttons every two seconds, but apart from that, it's good. Now I feel like I'm getting too close here, so I'm just gonna drop him down a bit now. It's all very scary. Scary Mary from Donaldson's Dairy. Right, where the where the plum duffery are we? I can still see the edge of the planet over there. I think I'm not. This altimeter is a complete lie. Oh, I, I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you. You would. You would lie to me. You are lying to me. Right, we're going to head down into three figures now. Are you ready for this, people? We're coming down to under a kilometre now. going to come down quick smart if we just boost this and I know that the altimeter doesn't take mountains into consideration so what I'm going to do is just kill it there and see where we are I don't really want to change my trajectory I'm going to look around like this it could work it could work I'm in at a very weird angle here, but it is possible that I may be on track. We're going to look around here now. This is it, people. This is it. We're coming down to 300. Let's bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. It's 250. 220. Let's just kill it there. Now, can we see anything strange or wonderful down here? Spin it round so we're at the right angle here. Now I was told by a reliable source somewhere around here there is a javelin. But so far I'm not seeing a javelin of any kind. What we might need to do is come down little bit here, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Now somewhere in this murky business, it should be an enormous spaceship just lying around. But as far as we can see, Everything looks like a javelin now. Everything looks like a javelin now, baby. Ah, oh, could it be another wild goose chase? Come on, javelin, where are you? We've got to find you. I'm just wondering if a javelin would land in a crater like that. It's possible, I guess. Just nose it forward slightly. The cloud of nothing, straight ahead. Let's just get a little bit of a view around here. See, that looks like a javelin, but it's not. It's just a rock. Is that a javelin? rocks over there maybe come on keep an eye open here son strike my nose sharply on the ground nope I'm not seeing it are you I feel like that's a javelin shaped hole there. 
Let's try a little bit over here. What we do need is a little bit of daylight. Here we are on Daymar, having a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It does seem to be getting lighter though, that might be quite good. If we roll round into the day, I'm not sure if we're looking that way though, I think we're actually looking the opposite. Oh, I felt certain that was it, I really did. It's just, maybe it's over this ridge here. certain that a javelin of any of any water would land in a ditch like this what's a javelin like you doing in a ditch like this god it seems so easy when I read the leaflet, it all seemed very, very clear. But now I've actually got the instructions, uh, like you know, the, the actual pieces in my hand, I can't seem to put it together. I don't like it. Come on. This is not good. This is the opposite of good. Right, let's just put the nose down here like this. Shubin Mining, Wolf Point, Bountiful Harvest. All very nice names, aren't they? That's Tamden. Oh no, that's Eager Flats. So, alright then. Let's get up here a little bit then. Lost my main one. There it is. No. Where's the one I want? Is it there? Tamden Plains. Is it supposedly. If you aim for Tamden Plains, you should you should land right on top of it. That's what I was told. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Let's have a little nose down here again and see what we can see. It's about 400, 300 maybe. Let's have a little look around. Let's just take a little look like this, maybe. Look at the light. It's very, very nice lighting, I must say. Look at this. The misty expanse. I mean, it's a pretty amazing game when you think about it, isn't it? Even if we can't find even if we can't find anything creeping around here at night it's pretty amazing what's that could that be the wreck of the famed javelin no it's just a pile of rocks well 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 what can we say ladies and germs successful mission I'm just determined not to be beaten by this I really am I really want to find this thing but I just I followed the instructions to what I would call the letter and not in a Laconian sense where a deconstruction of the title of the letter means that the subject that I claim is merely fictional and has no agency within the autonomous horizontal system of difference of linguistic value posited by Saucer is actually re-inscribed the use of Cartesian logic to prove his absence ok 
Okay, what the F7C am I going to do now, people? Oh, look at that. A glimmer of hope on the horizon. All I can do... If I carry along this trench, maybe. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the, the ticket. Just keep going along this trench until we come across something that looks remotely javelin-esque. Now we're poking around in the dark now, people. This is a very... This is a very, very random process we're in, engaging in now. Some striated rocks below us. Give it a little nudge up, up the tummy there. Oh, hello. What could this be? What could this be now? Everything looks javelinish to me in this light. I feel like there's a slight glimmer over there. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably just a, a glitch in the matrix. Yes, it is. It's gone. <laughs> He's seeing things. He's gone space crazy. Well, I really don't know, people, what I can what I can suggest here. I don't seem to be able to find proverbial needle in the Daimar haystack. Oh, what's that? Is that another little another little something? Just a glimmering of mineral deposits laughing at me as they conceal the rusted bones of a javelin. Daymar has embraced the carcass of this spaceship and it refuses to reveal its whereabouts. Never mind, the view is wonderful. What can we say, ladies and germs? What can we say about this other than. other than we like the view? Alright, well, I shall have to try that on another day. All I can say is, I'm not willing to poke around any more in the nothingness. Let's get out of here. Let's exit this Roman shell. And then you know it's time to leave the capital. Then you know in your brain, you know in your brain. Oh. Well, all I can say is that it's a pro mental shit backwash psychosis enema squad. That's all I can say to that, peeps and sheeps. Let's check the old visor, see what we can find. And what I'd like to know, actually, is if I select the planet of Damar. Oh, Kovalex. I didn't know Kovalex was was in orbit around Daymar. That's interesting. Yeah, very interesting, John. Very interesting. Let's just have a look at you then. All of these lovely little locations. Now, we wanted to go to Kudra Or, didn't we? That was our that was our our wish, which I do believe is here. They've really got to do something about this uh, stuff. If the planets didn't glow white, it would make the whole thing just so much easier. Arc Core, Tandem Plains, it's Wolf Point, Shubin, Eager Flats, reluctant to go there, really. Dunlow Ridge, everything but. Right, let's just check him out. Let's see what we got here. I reckon if we went to we could go to Art Court. We could go to Bountiful Harvest. Let's go there. Let's go to Bountiful Harvest if we can. All 
Alright, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can find those little widgets that we love and cherish. Samden Plains, you were a fat lot of help, you were. Samden Miller, is that Samden Plains? Is that Darren there? Kudra is on the other side. Bountiful Harvest, Hydroponics. Alright, give me the widgets because I want to get out of here. They're obstructed. Why are they always obstructed? What's that one up there? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? There we go. That'll do. Let's see if that puts us somewhere nice and tidy. Just do that for one second. Hey! Major Llama, how are you, mate? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, I didn't see you there. I had, I had something up in front of it. Submarine poetry, yeah, nice. That's, that's, that's the ticket, mate. Bit of underwater verbiage. Now, where are we? I'm glad you joined the stream, mate. I really appreciate you turning up. I don't know if you're still there. Give us a shout if you are still there. I'm just trying to find my way to Bountiful Harvest. Uh, I think the time on the left shows how long he's been streaming for. Oh yeah, there's somebody else has written that. I tink the timer. Yeah, that is how long I've been streaming for. That's absolutely right, mate. That is absolutely on the nose there, sunshine. Uh, that's how long I've been streaming for. What's your day job? Just curious. What? <laughs> What's my day job? My day job? Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you, mate. Right, now, Bountiful Harvest. You're now even further away than you were before. Why is this? Why is this? I still haven't got the hang of this traversal system. Anyway, look, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. I'm still here. It's okay. I can't read your name, mate. It's got so, it's sort of like a black doom something. Anyway, I'm, I appreciate you stopping by, mate. I really do. How are you on this lovely evening? I don't know if it's evening where you are. But it's certainly evening where I am. I'll tell you what time it is. It's just gone 20 past 11. UK time. What time is it where you are, mate? Is that Bountiful Harvest? It's still further away than it was before. I don't get it. Is that an OM over there? That one I'm too close to. I don't get the traversal system at all. It's a pain in the... It's a pain in the freelancer, if you ask me, mate. Doom's Lair, and I'm great, thank you. It's 3.22pm for me. All right. Well, I'm glad you could stop by, mate, on a what I hope is a pleasant afternoon for you in the US. I assume you're in the US. What are you, mid? Mid? Anyway, I'm in, I'm in Bristol right now, which is sort of west of England. But I'm not from here, I'm from London. Right, Bountiful Harvest is now there. That's no good to me, is it? All right, I'm going to try OM6 to see if that gives me any joy. Oh, I'm very sorry, mate. BC Canada, there we go. I'm only guessing. You'll have to forgive me. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Are you into Star Citizen? Have you been playing it? Have you been streaming it? Have you been, have you been getting into 3.0? Are you just joined? Have you been doing it for years? What's your angle? Now that might do me. Bountiful Harvest is now too... Yeah, that'll do it. Let's get down there. Buy some mundane uh, produce to try and excite everybody. Let's put some welly on the Nelly. Right. Since 2015. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Too right, mate. Too right. It's funny, isn't it? It's a funny old game. I... I got into it, I first downloaded it uh, in 2015, but late, like, I think it was sort of late September 2015 I got into it, and there wasn't a lot to do, they could sort of go in the hangar and tool around and everything was a bit shonky, and uh, now it's, you know, fully functional. <laughs> Not like now, when it totally works, everything's totally working. Same here, good old hangar days. Yeah, it was funny that, wasn't it? Yeah, look, I've got a ship. Only I haven't got a ship. Can you fly it? No. Can you look at it? Yes. Can you open the doors? Sometimes. <laughs> it's, 
it's very funny to me that the whole the whole virtual currency virtual purchasing thing is it's amusing to me but I'm I bought into it like a like a plum duff I bought into that bag of spanners and now I'm stuck with it but I do love the game I think it's a great game I'm not sure where it's headed I have no real I would say I've got no way of knowing if it's all going to work out nicely or not <laughs> I don't, I don't try not to think about it too much, but I mean, since we're on the stream, what do you guys think? What are you happy with the way that 3.0 is going? Are you, is there, or what are the things that bug you about it? What are the things that you like about it? Just, just let me know what you think. I'd be, I'd be very interested to hear. And then I will probably bore you with the things that I, I think about it as well. I tell you what, I wish I could pilot in a decent manner, sort of waving around like a like a queen waving goodbye. Let's just not do the hick manoeuvre. Let's just keep going in a straight line. I don't know if you saw the. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say this, but if you ever saw the ATV where they interviewed the guy who did the, all the recording of all the breathing in the game, <laughs> that made me laugh so much. The thought of that poor guy. He said, "Oh, I nearly passed out about three times." And, and, and I had to have it all ready by the end of the day, and I was doing... <laughs> he was doing all this breathing. <laughs> Poor guy. Every time we breathe in the game, it's thanks to him. I think of him as a sort of hero. The hero of that. He's a lung, a lung hero. The unsung lung hero. I love you a long time, unsung lung hero. Right, OK, we're coming in, what, we 75. Now, this could all go hideously wrong for me, as it is wont to do. My take on this is to hit about 40 and then to go for it. Good old hangar days. All oh, right, that's from ages ago. I don't know if you got... Oh, there we go. Freedom to do what you want is nice. Can be a something one day and a trader the next. Yeah, exactly, mate. That's right. The dark side, the light side. Who are you with? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what you said just because my little brother's watching. But here we go now. Let's let's try and kill the speed. Now this has been a real pain for me because sometimes I don't slow down. In fact, I speed up. Look at that. Oh no, it's all right. It's all going to work out nicely. Freedom to do what you want, mate. Yes. I mean, I think this. The fact that I mean, Chris Roberts himself said it, didn't he? He said, now, "Do you know that the whole of Skyrim can fit in one of those craters over there?" And he was very proud of that, and he's, you know, rightly so. I think it's a real achievement. The amount of scale and space that they've managed to achieve in the game is pretty incredible. The fact that um, it is so expansive is a real achievement, I think. I think one thing that is slightly concerning is we know that the server cap is 50 people. This is a good view, isn't it? They know, we know that the server cap is 50 people. Uh, and we also know the size of the Stanton system is pretty immense. You can be a one day and a and a trader the next. And I like that switching of roles. It's like if you wake up in a bad mood, you can just go all piratical on it, and it's pretty it's pretty funny. But I mean, the other thing is that it's quite. I don't know. I mean, it, the expanse means that you, it's rare that you bump into anyone. <laughs> it's like. You know what I mean? You could you could go you could go for days. I've been I've been on I've streamed like every day in a row for like a week and only bumped into one geezer. And that's not the geezers on selling. That's actually a geezer geezer. So it's just like it can be. I think it's gonna you know I think the expanse is you know it's 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 brilliant. But unless they up the server cap, we're gonna be lonely little spacemen aren't we you can be a all you like but uh, there won't be anybody to when you're out there do you know what I mean <laughs> you can trade with yourself all day long it, which is a you know it's a kind of form of masturbation isn't it? right I've gone over here I buy these I bring them back I sell them there oh I've made a profit right I go back I buy these I bring them over there I sell them oh I've made a profit it's a kind of like self-repeating um, Hand shandy, if you know what I mean. 
Right, here we go. Is this the right place? I don't, I've, I've done it again, haven't I? I've come to the wrong side of the planet, have I? No, this is good. I can just about... There's a big square there. I don't know what that is. It's a big square widget. Somebody's left a rug out in the rain. What's going on? Well, we'll see. We'll see. The Vista. Look at this. Look at that. That is a screenshot if ever I saw one. Beautiful. It's a good looking game though, isn't it? No matter what you say. But I do think, what do you think of the scale of it? I mean, you've already said that you like the freedom and that is for me the big pull of this game. Like more than any other game, you've got the freedom to tool around as you wish. But I mean, what do you think about the, how do you feel about the look of it? Are you happy with the way it looks? Either of you? Doom's Lair, what do you reckon? All the way from BC, what do you reckon? Is he still there? That's the question. Is he tired of my whittling and prattling on? Alright, here we go. We can see this now. Here she comes. Here she ever comes now, now. She comes, she comes, she comes. I'm going to get sound too close here. Let's pull this back and ease him down. And that'll do it. Thank you. There we go. Let's see if we can just park it over there. Is that a bit of flatness I see before me? That'll do it, won't it? Now, it took me a while to um, even realise. God, look at the view, man. This is a nice one. That's the good thing I, I do like about Daymar is a slight bit of atmosphere. It makes all the makes us some fuzz and some business to look at. Let's see if we can get her down nicely here. Where are we? Anything in the way? Probably. There usually is when I park myself. Something in the way. Here we go then too bad, if I say so myself. Oh, there we go. Sorry to cut you off, darling, but I'm getting out, right? There we go. Nice. Thanks for getting me there, though. You're a real gem. Well, let's go and see what's going on. See if we can get some cargo, Margo. What's in your cargo, Margo? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, look at this. The sky went black for a minute there. Oh, hello. I've, I've I've made a bit of a bit of a turd of the landing there, haven't I? Look at that! <laughs> you great lemon! Oh, hello! Here's another geezer now. Guns up, is it? Let's try that one instead. Now, what was I saying about being lonely? Got to know where to go and be woohoo. I find the people. I find people all the time. Got to find the right trading post and quantum markers to pirate. Ah, oh, okay, all right, Major Lama. All right, you're a bit of a bit of a geezer. That's good, mate. Yeah, nice. Got to know where to go and be a woo woo. All right. Well, it looks like I'm going to come in nicely now. If I just get myself positioned over here, we might have a little bit of. Oh, he's off, he's off, he's off. Look, he's off. I think I might be able to get in here, look. I think I might be on for it, mate. What do you reckon? Shall we? Shall we engage? Oxygen low? Why is oxygen low? That's not good, is it? Mind, let's risk it. Couldn't hit a barn door at fifty paces, mate.
I'm going to die of oxygen depreciation before I even get him. Take that, you son of a gun! <laughs> I am such a wrong un. I am such a wrong un. Look at that. It's absolutely foul play. Right, I've got to get, my, get, get myself some oxygen before I keel over and die. Oxygen low. I've got 17 minutes left. That's not too bad. I don't know if you can pick up weapons that have been dropped by other people. Oh, that was beautiful, that was. Look at that terrible parking. Who parked that? That's chronic. Awesome. No, I didn't join AC, but it was just uh, hangers. I joined Star City when it was AC and hang up, and then AC didn't need to go to the 20 thingamabob. When AC didn't need 20 number thingamabob, lol. <laughs> yes, I think I know what you mean, mate. I really do. All right, but that was a little bit of that was a little bit of action, wasn't it? He was waiting for me around the corner. I'll tell you what, it's lucky I had the old shotgun. Because that was very much. This is the best noise in the game. Oh, lovely. Now hopefully my oxygen start should start going up again. Is that the case? Is that how it works? I don't know. Let's see if we can find the terminal. I think somebody found the terminal this evening, didn't they? <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad lad. That's terrible. I don't usually do things like that, you know. It's talking to you. I blame you, Major Lama, and your piratical chat. That's what I... I blame that on you. You egged me on to do that. You goaded me into violent action. Right. We could go for stims, uh, but... My mission was to take food. We're going to take food all the way back to Olisar. That's that was my. Let's take let's take that. What was that? How many? Filling 58. No, let's not do it all on that. Let's do 30, 30 for 30. So we'll take that. Food was at five. We'll just remember that. And we will take some of this. We'll take some of this as well. We've got a full, full cargo, mate. Full cargo all the way for Margo. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Let's get out of here before he comes back with his mates. <laughs> I tell you what, I wasn't very impressed with that uh, machine gun though. That was that was terrible, terrible play. And it took me it took me three shots to down him with the shotgun. Absolutely awful. Right, what have we got here then? Also, what I love about Star Citizen is the graphics. The graphics are amazing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I love the planetary landscapes as well. So awesome. But I'm so hyped for my Origin 600i. Oh mate, you bought the 600i. You went for the full yachting experience. That is brilliant, mate. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by that very much. I, I did I did think about it, but I thought I can't really afford it at the moment. That was my that was my main thought. And then the second thought I had was, no, go on, buy it. But no, I didn't. I've got. I tell you what, I've got in game. Oh, his ship's still here. I'm just wondering now if it's worth having a look. Let's see if he's got any cargo. My ship's completely full now, but we could... Um, still curious what your day job is. <laughs> yeah. My day job is I teach uh, in a circus school. So I teach acrobatics, aerial uh, conditioning, all that sort of stuff. All the circus stuff is what I teach. And I teach in Bristol, a circus school in Bristol. And when I'm not teaching there, I'm teaching in a circus school in Stockholm in Sweden. No, he's got nothing. Look at him. He's absolutely bereft of anything. 
Nothing in here at all. Alright, never mind. Never mind. An empty hold is an empty head. So they say. Right, let me get in mine and get out of here before he comes back with his fellas. Alright, uh, good kill by the way. Well, it was alright. And I really, really hope that Chris Roberts sticks his quarterly update plan because usually everything he says is like double. And we have to wait for it to see. I really want to try FOIP. Yes, mate, that you're absolutely right. I think that I love the idea of FOIP. It's funny, isn't it? I know that the... Um, unfortunately, what they did with that demo with the FOIP was that they, they tried to script it and, and they gave the scripts to people who aren't really actors. And they, I think they just felt very self-conscious because the script was, was really sort of cheesy. Oh, come on, don't give me this. Don't, give, don't tell me I'm not going to be able to get in the thing now. Come on, get yourself together, boy. There we go. And get yourself in there. That's the fella. That's the fella. Look at all this goodness. So what did we go for? We went for food and drugs, which is, you know, not bad for a stop at the all-night garage. Get me 20 silk cart and a packet of Rizzlers. Right. Here we go. Look, it's full everywhere we go. Well, we'll see. Interesting to see how this handles now. Like a brick, I would imagine. But we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, I really wanted to... Uh, really, yeah, I can't wait for Spectrum. Yeah, that's another thing, mate, that I'm really stoked for. Is the idea... Do you know what I think is funny? And I've said this before. Is I really love the idea of having Spectrum in the game. Like on the... Let's get rid of that. I really like the idea of having Spectrum in the game. On my phone. And I get <laughs> I want to see somebody sneeze with FOIP. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I I really want to see that. But I also, what I really want to do, I want to be at work. And I'm talking to my boss. And then the phone goes. And it's somebody on Daymar saying, quick, you've got to get here. Somebody's trying to steal my cargo. And I say to my boss, no, hang on. This is really important. I've got to take this. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait for that to happen. Here we go. Let's just drop the nose ever so slightly because I just want to see if that ship is still there. Did it get despawned or is it still is it still there? Is it over there? Yeah, it's still there. Look at that. Well, I don't know about you, mate, but I feel like it might be just 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 for jolly. It might be worth doing the old, um... Actually, do you know what? No, I'm going to leave it. I've been bad enough this evening. There's no point to blow it up. Let's just go. Let's head back to Ollie. Let's get the old nose up and get the hell out of here. And then your boss is like, what's this? Star Citizen, let's play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I just love that. I love the fact that with, what, with Spectrum integration on your phone, people can be in-game and ring you up in the real world and go, hello. Some complete, <laughs> some complete plum duff is taking pot shots at me on Daymar. Get down here and sort him out. Actually, I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't check the chat. Uh, do you know you have to speak with him? Uh, I'm back. Well, Sean, I'm back. What were the questions? Nah. I thought there might be some indignant nonsense going on in the chat about somebody who shot somebody at Daymar. Yeah, I know, right? But they're in airplane mode or something where it's silenced. <laughs> like a do not disturb mode. Yeah, that's true. That's very true, mate. No, but I, it's, I don't know. I think it's amazing. I think I don't know if Chris Roberts pulls off the whole game thing, if he pulls off Spectrum as being something that is integrated in this very believable and expansive universe, and people have it on their phones and they have it in the game and they're able to communicate with each other, drop text messages and plans and, and locations and bookmarks and do contacts and contracts and trading in between players. I think, you know the game is going to make a lot of money I've over and above what it's already made which is phenomenal but I mean it, yes it's it's incredible 
Anyway, look, I'm blathering away here. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get on. I've got to get on, mate. I've got to get back to my original locale, Port Olisar. Can I? Can I see that? Daymar. All oh, right. Am I occluded? Here I am. I'm on the wrong side. Okay. Maybe I can go sideways. Can I get to here? Oh, that's good. Oh, I appreciate that, mate. Very much, whoever that was. I appreciate that very much. Uh, the follow, etc., etc. Really, really, thank you very, very much, mate. That's very kind of you. I'm trying to get the stream going. Trying to get, trying to do it a bit more regular. I'm, I'm a busy geezer, but I mean, I've got a little bit of time in the evenings to do this, and I'm, I've been enjoying it recently. And I just think, well, why not? You know. You were doing the server and him a favour by blowing up his ship. Oh, yes. No, that's true. That is something I didn't think of. I'm doing the server a favour. I should have done that, shouldn't I? You're right. You're right. Uh, less assets equals better server performance and he has to claim his ship anyway. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right, mate. Oh, well. I'll know next time. I'm going to have to go via Yella, I'm afraid, because I can't be bothered to wait for this um, nonsense. Let's just go that way. It's not going to hurt, is it? It's only quantum fuel, after all. But yeah, I mean, what do uh, what do you do, uh, Major Lama? By the way, and Doomslayer, what do you do for for work? I think it's going to be awesome when you when you're laying in bed and you can talk somebody in the game when you're laying down. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be funny. No, it's going to be cool. It's going to be very, very immersive. I can very easily see how it would take over your life. Like, you know, I think these games are... They're a kind of cushion, aren't they? Uh, if, you know, on days when you don't feel so chipper, you can always think to yourself, well, you know, I can always hop in here and have a bit of a laugh. It's a kind of... It is a kind of form of relaxation. It serves a lot of purposes for a lot of different people. Um... But I think it's not a bad thing, uh, all in all. Obviously not, because I'm sat here doing it. But anyway, let's see what we can find here. Where am I going to now? I want to get to... I want to get to Port Olisar, but I can't seem to... I can't seem to see him. There he is. There he is. That's the fella I want to see. That is the very chappy that I want to engage with. Now, is he over here? Or is he over here isn't he there he is in the far distant future past the broken moon the shards of rocky debris the detritus that surrounds the piratical base oh that was a bit, a bit close of grim hexingtons I'm a malware reverse engineer ah ok I get your meaning, mate. That's not. That's a. That's an interesting job, actually. That is something that does interest me. Um, I'm not a computer buff. I mean, I can operate them. I'm not an idiot. You know what I mean? But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into code, if you know what I mean. And in, in obviously the way that you are. And I've got a great admiration for people who can immerse themselves in the logic of it and the and the understanding of it. I understand logic in my own way, but I do have a great deal of... Um, hang on, I've got no power. Why is that? Is there something up with the ship here? There we go. Is somebody shooting at me? Yep. I'm getting out of here, mate. I think I might be better off at Grim Hex anyway. So, I've just been shot at by what I can only assume is turrets. Is that something that is is happening in the game now? I'm 
Just killing the music a little bit because it's a bit too heavy for me. Anyway, look, what I'm trying to say to you, mate, is I've got a great admiration for people who deal in that sort of uh, machine code, linguistic coding, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's really interesting to me. It's not something I think I can wrap my head right around. Uh, but it is something I'm very interested in. Uh, do you do... Um, so what... Wait, okay, let's try and crack this, what, what you're saying here. I'm a malware reverse engineer. So you're somebody who undoes the damage that malware does. You're somebody that writes malware for security companies to test out their systems. How does it work? Or are you... What are you telling me? You're just a hacker. Is that what you're telling me? Either way, it's very interesting, and it's something that I would like to know more about. Your job is interesting to me, complete opposite spectrum. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, I spend all my day in a studio helping people to try and do impossible things, uh, sort of in, in a physical sense, whereas you have probably got your head in some kind of machine code trying to make it do something impossible. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're that, I don't think we're that different, really. We're all trying to do the impossible, aren't we? That, that's the way I look at it, anyway. All of the above, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, fair enough. Now that's that's interesting to me. That uh, do you work? Are you self-employed? Do you work for a firm, or how does it work? Do you can you freelance yourself out with that kind of uh, skill set, or or do you have to, or do you are you embedded in a company sort of thing? I'm going to try this approach again because I don't like to be shot at. I'm going to see if I can get myself around the other side here and see if we can come in something up with the power I think I may be damaged let me just have a look at the old ship here got any bullet holes to speak of the thing is I can't really afford to lose this cargo so I might what I actually might do is get, head off back to yellow and sell it there Me a little widget. Come on, give me the widget. I've got to get out of here. There it is. I'm in trouble. I've made a, I made a boo boo. My job is like a virologist. I break down mal malware to find how it works, defend against it, repurpose it, etc. Mate, that that sounds interesting. I'm really. I'm really interested in that sort of stuff. I mean, I. I'm fascinated with with the way code like how it linguistically it's open to hacking in the sense that you can insert something which is a tautology or a looped procedure which can break a program you can make something which is a virus which sets up kind of logic loops which then collapse in on themselves I mean I'm, I'm interested in that sort of stuff I mean to me that's how it works I don't know if that is how it works but I mean the idea of code collapsing in on itself and becoming viral and being able to reproduce itself is really really interesting are you do you know much about the coding or the when they give announcements about how they're coding um, Star Citizen itself do you work for yourself? All oh, right, I work for two schools. I work for a school here in in the UK, uh, uh, which is called Circa Media, and I work for another company in um, Sweden, which is called the uh, Dance and Circus University. And I also I also have a research grant from the University of Arts in Stockholm. Uh, I'm doing research through them, sort of funded position. So yeah, I'm I'm embedded in two different companies, but they both deal with the education of circus professionals. So I do I teach. You know, the youngest person there is about 21, 22, something like that. It goes all the way up to about 30, and then I also teach MA students who are doing research in circus. So I may they may be older, but it's interesting work. Yeah, it's very interesting work. Right now, where am I? I've got to find that little yellow, but little little fella, where, little fella called Yella. Here he is. Look, here's the Grim Hexington that I really know and love. You're the little Hexington that I know and love. And there you are, sitting in the ring, like a like a brown girl in the ring, as I used to say. La 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 la.
Now, did you see that? That makes me absolutely terrified. Coming into Grim Hex like that, at a rate of knots, and finding myself faced with an enormous lump of rock. Let's see if I can get in here without getting shot at. I think that's where I want to be. Let's just see where we are. Particular school, do you have any videos of your work? Yeah, I do. I've got some stuff online. I'd have to look up the links to it, but I can send you them. Yeah, absolutely, for sure I can. No problem at all. I've got some of my stuff. I do a lot of performing work. Oh, I have done a lot of performing work. I've been performing in the circus for like, I don't know, 20, 25 years, something like that. 25 years, yeah. Before that, I was in theatre, and before that, I've done a lot of performance, basically. I've been performing since I was a kid. That is my, that is my, my livelihood, so to speak. Right now, then, ladies and germs, let's get ourselves into a position of endness. So we've got the landing gear down. This is what I like to do first before I even speak to these bozos and ask for a landing pad. I like to have my legs out ready for a nice stroking. Stroke my legs. Come on, green hex. Give me the business. There he is. There he is. Look at that. No word. No word from the Grimmers this evening. They know I'm a bad lad. They're not even going to speak to me. They're just going to let me slide, slide directly into the nose without any, any, any nonsense. Take no nonsense from this geezer. He's a killer. Three blasts from the old shotgun. That's what you get from Downer. But yeah, I do have some videos of my stuff, mate. I can, I can send you links and stuff like that if you want. If you're interested, I appreciate your interest as well. Have you got any sort of stuff that you could send me, like what, what, what kind of coding and stuff that you do? What's what's a big project that you've that you've worked on um, recently? What's like an interesting challenge that you've had to undo the knots, so to speak? Here we go. Look at this now. Very nice. Have a to say. I will. will, will, will. I'll just try. Sandy Gardner. <laughs> right, come with him. Let's get ourselves Eric Horan Davis out of here and get down the old ship. See if we can sell this Chris Roberts stuff. Now, what have we got? We've got stems and food. So let's just hope that we made a profit here. I think. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that we would have made a little bit of cash on this. We might even break the 100,000 mark. Wouldn't that be nice? God, that's a bit tight, isn't it? Am I alright here? Yeah. It took a long time to spawn in that, didn't it? It's like the missing rock. The missing link, so to speak. Oh, I'd be interested to see your stuff. I find it interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, it's good stuff, mate. It's a quite a wide variety of work in circus at the moment. It's quite an interesting time to be working in circus because it depends where you are in the world, what kind of work that you see. Like, you can see very, very traditional stuff, really sort of what I... Well, let's say I like traditional circus as much as I like contemporary circus. I think the contemporary circus scene is quite can be quite exciting and quite innovative and quite challenging. It can also be really up its own backside. Uh, I think the traditional scene can be really much more exciting, but it can also be really, really stilted and sort of a bit tired out. So it does depend whereabouts in the world you go, where you, where you find your circus, what kind of circuses um, you have experience of. Most people think of it as a family entertainment thing. And which is fair enough, because that's most people's experience of it. It depends where you are. I mean, in Canada, you've obviously got the the Canadian government have put a lot of money into into the development of circus ever since Soleil um, first took off in the 80s. That um, that received a lot of government funding, and it became like a quite a major Canadian cultural export coming out of Montreal, etc., etc. 
Uh, what's your experience of circus, mate, if you don't mind me asking you? I'm going to completely the wrong place here. I know that I've got a ship already. It's I'm trying to sell some goods. Call that. And I always I always like to call both lifts just for the hell of it. All right, there it is. Come on. No, no, no. Shut out from the from the business there. Too eager. Now I did fall down the lift shaft recently, so I've got to be careful. You know what I mean? I've got to be very careful. Uh, I really appreciate you stopping by, by the way, Major Lama. It's nice to nice to converse with you, mate. And also Doomslayer, I appreciate your attention also. It's 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 much appreciated that you stop by and comment or stuff. I'm also going to buy the Facewear webcam because one of the best experience of Star Citizen. I don't and I, I don't work, I just play games. Hey, Doomslayer. That sounds like the perfect life to me. Very good mate. Very, very good. Right here we go. Uh, so Doomslet, are you still there? What is the most exciting thing about FOIP, do you reckon, for you? I mean, I'm excited by it, but I just wonder, what, what's your take on it? Right, here's a freelancer, look at that. Right, so we've got this processed food. Yes, that's for ten, so I paid five. And the stims I paid two, and it's, yeah. That's not brilliant, is it? It's not brilliant, but it's it's profit. That's all we can say. It's profit. I double my cash there. So let's sell the food. Confirm. And confirm. That brings us up to something like that. Put in the stims. That's also made me three per unit. So 18 grand on that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Look at that. And we'll confirm that. And we've done it. Yes. Ladies and germs, check him out. Check out the geezer. He's made it. He's got over 100,000. Finally, finally, finally. I'm pleased with that. Very good. Um, I've been trying to watch your streams for like two weeks or so long. Every time I click your stream, you're always in a podcast. Oh, mate. Sorry about that. I can't wait to make some funny faces at first and see my friends see it, lol. Uh, everyone is going to do that at least once. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, you're right. I think, to be honest with you, mate, I, I just think... You know, the way that you pick up... And I know it's not going to be real time and all that kind of stuff, and it's going to be a lot of weird expressions and stuff, but the, the, the amount of information that you pick up from somebody's face when you're talking to them. The expressions and the eye movements and where the eyes are looking and stuff like that. I think it's going to be, and I think it will, if it, if it works in Star Citizen, I think it's something that will take off in gaming generally. And I think it's, it's going to be incredible, I think, because you'll be able to convey so much more presence uh, and it is, and you're right as well, it's going to be a bit of a giggle, like pulling faces and, and, and being able to sort of laugh and sneeze and, I don't know, whatever, you know, whatever it is. I hope they've got really good tongue animations. I think that would be good. And you can stick your tongue out of somebody, it'd be quite funny. Right, okay. Now I feel like a bad lad. I've got a really bad rating here, so look, what I might do... Have I just... Have I come out where I want to come out? No, I haven't. I've been anywhere. Have a look. Right. This time. Right, this time. Let's head in here. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to head to... Korea. Let's see if I can get rid of this uh, crime stat.
but Doomslayer, I appreciate the fact you've been trying to watch the stream. I, I'm, I, I do tend to vodcast a lot, and I know maybe I shouldn't. I should just let people watch what they want to watch. But I have to tell you that, um, just bear with me one second here, because I've also. Uh, also got a YouTube channel and most of the videos that I've done are on there and I'm just gonna just gonna send you the link let me just put that in here now That is my YouTube channel as well. So most of the videos that I've done. So if you do find yourself stuck for a bit of Star Citizen nonsense, you can always watch them on there also. Uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Look at this fella over here. Look, he's quite nonchalant, isn't he? Look at him. Trying to blend in, mate. Look at you. I can see through your mask. Look at your cracked eyes and your tight codpiece. You're a man of action, I can tell. What, you're just chilling? Just taking it easy? With a light on your head? Feeling a bit light-headed? <laughs> right, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we can find... I don't remember. Does anybody know where Korea is? Uh, I might take the cutlass, actually. Oh, it's not here. Never remained. I could take the... Oh, let's take the prospector. No, let's not take the prospector. Let's take the Herald, because at least it's quick. Okay, thank you, I subscribed. Oh, you're an absolute gem. Thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate you doing that. I know that it's a, it's a young channel. There's hardly anybody on there. And I really appreciate you subscribing. It's, it's made my day. Really, seriously. Seriously. Could you press the button for me, young man? Thank you. Look at you. You look a bit tough, don't you? Look at you. More machine than man. That is a good look, actually. I might get myself some tough armour. Have you pressed that button or what? What are you doing? Don't stand around posing in your tin outfit. Get get to pressing that button. His gloves are so thick he couldn't tell if he'd done it or not. I'm following you, mate. I'm following you all the way. All the way. I'm going to follow you. All the way. I'm following you. I'm following you. Let's see where he goes. Which he's he's going to leave me astray here. He's going to jump in. It's a nice looking ship, isn't it? That? The old constellation. Anyway, look, we can't tarry around with him. I've got to get off here quite soon, actually. His time is ticking on. Right. Uh, Correa is outside Yella. Uh, you may get shot at by turrets depending on your crime stat. Hey, now that is a new development. Can't remember what pad I'm in now down here um, where are we six was it six four five or six uh, yeah basically that's a new development then the turrets I'm assuming that's what I got shot at I'm on five I wish I could pay attention to what I'm doing sometimes honestly Tell you what, Major Lama, in your line of work, you can't afford to drop the ball like that, can you? The difference between five and six could make make the difference between life or death in your game, I would imagine. Here's the Herald now. Hello, Harold. How are you this evening? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, I'm the quickest ship in the game, did you know that? I was well aware of it, son. I was well aware of it. Right, let's just go a bit closer then, if you're going to play silly buggers. Enter the ship, yes please. So perhaps taking the Herald wasn't such a great move then if I'm going to get pumped full of lead as soon as I arrive. Oh well, we'll give it a go, whatever. I really appreciate that, Doomslayer, I really do. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad that you... Um, I'm glad that you enjoy this nonsense. Up we go, up we go, up, 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 up and away, ladies and germs, 
ladles and jelly spoons we shall now attempt the impossible we shall get ourselves to Korea and back again in time for tea please welcome onto the stage the man who raises his legs for your entertainment for your delectation and delight we enter the stream wearing nothing but a thin herald about our nether parts to perform feats of undeniable expertise we shall flex our muscles and point our toes for your delectation as we enter once again the inky bible blackness of chris roberts's mind let's get a bit of speed on shall we lovely job now i'm going to see if i can find now did you say uh, everyone uh, it's okay because armor 3 does when you are talking only your mouth moves ah oh, right okay I don't know if they have tongue things for it <laughs> yeah they probably I hope they do mate I really do I hope they do I hope they do now I'm confused now Korea is supposedly at Yella is that what you said did I get that right hang on uh, Korea is outside Yella. You may get shot at by turrets depending on your crime stat. Okay. I cannot see it, I'm afraid. Am I, am I missing a trick here? Is it further out, maybe? Nope, nope, nope. Comrade, Port Olisar. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I don't know then. I might be stuck with my crime stat. Never mind. I don't mind waking up at Grim Hex. That's perfectly all right with me. But if I click on here, does that help me? Grimhex is there. Yellow, I cannot see. Why is that? Oh, selling. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Right, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Not so much of a sell in as a sell out. Right, okay. Can he get there? He can, in one. Nice. Right, okay. There she is. Just nestling between Crusader and Yella. The wonderful world of selling out. Nice one. Oh, cheers. I would have been looking all around. I, w I would never have found that anyway. If you hadn't said. I would never have found it. That's wonderful. I like the way that mutes. That's really good. Uh, go to my position, sell in, there we go, security post, I mean, that's occluded isn't it, I'm going to have to go to the old OM, alright, off we go, let's try and hit it this way, it's a noisy old ship, the, the Herald isn't it, drive is now on. let's have a look at her shall we, it's a nice looking Nice looking thing, I think. Did that sound change pitch as I moved across the front there? It's a very, uh, it is basically a cockpit stuck on the front of an enormous engine. Which is the way I like it. Right, let's, let's go. Sorry about the hick manoeuvre there, people. I'm running out of oxygen, I think. That's the problem. Right, we're off. Let's see if we can find you. There you are. Bottom drive is now, on. now, if we can't get in here... Drive 
now off. See if we can just get in under here without too much bother. What I like to do is do what I call a little bit of reverse parking. Keep ourselves tucked slightly below the pads because you never know who's who's about landing gear down landing gear up now what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it running and just hop out you never know when we might have to make a quick guess away boys and girls oh yes right now can we get out that's the question is this the door? Yes, it is the door. That's what I want. Open the exterior, and we're out and about the wonderful world of Korea. It does look a bit different now, Korea. Slightly different feeling. Now, what we never know with Korea is if anybody's about. I'm assuming it's a little less occupied than it used to be in 2.6. This used to be a hive of activity, and it was always interesting to come in here, take your life in your hands, so to speak. Let's take ourselves down nice and gently here, if we can. Usually I break my legs doing this, but we'll just take it down nice and tidy. Ouch! Bit of a heavy landing, but never mind. Let's just guns up. Well, can we reload that? Thank you. Actually, I'm better off with this. If we reload it, yeah, we are reloaded. Okay, that is it. That is, the, that is as good as it gets. Right, pad four. get in the door, shall we? God, I'm not used to the, the new airlocks. Don't know why I'm whispering, boys. always creeps me out coming in here. Anybody up there? Nope. Let's see if we can still do this. What? Hold on. What's going on here? What is going on here? It is working. Okay, good. that he's ready for anything. Come on, let's get rid of that crime stat, son. I'll tell you what I'll do while I'm waiting. Let's 
Let's have a look, see if we can find some booze. It's usually, it's out the front here, isn't it? I'm not sure if that does it automatically while you're waiting. I've been killed here so many times. Look at this! Look at that! They've cleaned it all out! They've moved the booze somewhere else, haven't they? I can't remember where it is now. It's up on floor number two, isn't it? Right, come on. Let's just head off into here. I think that'll still keep on ticking away while we're waiting. Are there some free weapons here? Is this is this what I think it is? Refill ammo. That's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there is the old Radagast hidden in a locker here somewhere. No, they've moved it. What about down here then? Some crates. This used to be a lot of fun in here. God, it's all changed, isn't it? What's in these crates? Is there anything in these crates? No. Well, it's all changed up at Korea. I must say, there used to be a dispenser in here. It's all very stripped out now, isn't it? Let's take another little powder up here. I'm sure that down here somewhere there were some nope the booze is gone they've taken me Radagast well, I don't know what I'm going to do without my Radagast I'm bereft of Radagast. I don't know. I fancy a tipple this time of night when I'm hacking around Korea looking for trouble, trying to clear my crime stat. I tell you what, there's nothing worse than a, having your Radagast taken away from you. Does this still work, this thing? It's taking forever. Look at it. Accessing database. Well, don't just tell me about it. Do it. Goodness. There aren't any guns, ammo or booze anymore at Korea. Oh, okay. Well, I found a bit of ammo, but I think it was only just topped up what I was missing. Uh. Hello, hello. Well, that's only taken one away. I want more than that. I have to go through that all again? My God. The very... The, the very Oh dear, oh dear, this is a right palaver now, isn't it? If I leave now... Will I get... Will it still do it? I've got to hang around here, haven't I? The trouble with this is that you can't... You don't hear anything. Sort of want to be on guard a little bit. Hello, what's this? Anything? Anything for me? No. Just a, a black and decker and a pouch of potpourri. The workman who likes to smell fresh while he's drilling holes in a derelict station. For this little meeting room. Now, it'd be good if you could buy stuff at Korea. I tell you what, it'd be great if you could just buy weapons here hand grenades and the like. Alright, well I don't know what to do except hang out and wait for this whole administrative shenanigans to complete. So I guess we're going on a little patrol, shall we? Now what I want to do is reduce it down to one and then I'll go back and then hopefully I'll spawn at Grimhex. That'll suit my trading route a little bit better. 
have to stay in the building. Right, okay. Got you, Major. Right you are, Major! No problem, son. No problem. So tell me, have you got the weekend off? Um, are you are you working tomorrow? Or are you... Um, you got a day off? You might be doing some... Do you stream at all, Major Lama? That was my question. And... Um, to uh, Doom's Lair. Do you stream, either of you? Um, is that something that you're into or, or not? I haven't been into it very long myself, but I do, I do absolutely enjoy it. My missus goes to bed quite early, so I, it's nice to have a stay up late and have a bit of a chat. Although I am going to have to get off actually in a minute if this interminable process doesn't ever complete. Should be here all night. Let's take a little run round the station, shall we, while we're waiting? You see, I haven't been down here for a while. They've stripped all of this out, and they've got these. Yeah, they've just sort of. Oh, hello. My crime stat doesn't seem to get any lower. It's interesting, isn't it? There's crates here with stuff in. Good looking crates, those, I must say. If, you, if a crate can be good looking, I don't know if that's possible. Anyway, look, ladies and germs, I would like to just say that I'm going to hop out now. Hop out here, I'm going to jump back in the ship, uh, head back to Grimace. Actually, what I might do, I'm going to try a little test. I'm going to park it at Correa, and I'm going to fall asleep in the bed. That will be my log out. We'll see what happens. And where is my ship? Exactly. It's funny, you know, tonight, talking about never running into anybody in the stream. And then what happens? We I run straight into somebody and have a gunfight. That was brilliant. That's the most, um, that's the most excitement I've had for a while. In game, that is. Right, here we go. On the wrong side of a Harold. What I'll do is I will park myself on the pads. And, uh, oh, hello. I just shot the mark slightly there. Sorry, Mark. I overshot you. Let's put that away now, John. There we go then. Let's get in. Let's get in. Now we don't want to close exterior. We want to get up the ladder. You're not going to mess me about now, are you? Are you? You're not going to mess me about. Please don't mess me about. I don't want to close the exterior. Well, maybe I should do that then. Then I can. Okay, it looks like I'm doing it the hard way. Yep, I am. Come on, in you go, son. Okay, now I didn't realise this was going to be one of those kind of parties. Let's try that way. There we go, son. Nicely done. I can hear somebody. I think it's probably my own ship that I can hear. I streamed a bit a few years ago. Um, mainly streamed Elder Scrolls Online when it was all the rage before it fizzled out 30 days later. <laughs> Funny, mate. That's funny. All right now. I'm just thinking that I won't. What I'm going to do is head back to Grimmers actually, because I don't really want to leave it there. Um, let's just shimmy over here. Let's head back to Yellow. I can't get to Yellow. That's annoying. 
Well, let's go there. Can't get there either. Where can I get to then? God, oh, this annoys me, this system. Uh, where can I go? Can I go there? Can I go there? No. I can go there. No. Damn it. Alright, whatever. We'll head off that way. No problem. But I do agree with you, um, Major. I really do. That it's the space. It's the open, open world thing that I really love about this game. The fact that you can just tool around. And go where you will. When you feel like it. But I tell you what though. We can't find that spot now. I mean Crusader is right there. Well, it's it should be marked on the map. About over there. Alright, let's try over there then. Yep, there it is. Seems a bit of a long way around, but never mind. That's how it is in the verse. Why do they call it the verse? It just can't get any worse. I never played Elder Scrolls, I have to say. Is it any good? I'm a big fan of open world games. I like I also like games where you've got to you can mess around with systems. Have you played Stationeers at all? I'm not sure if that's the sort of game that you Quantum you would you would get into. Off. It's an interesting game. It's so loud this ship, isn't it? It's an interesting game because it it looks um it looks very sort of babyish in a way. Like the graphics are very sort of simplistic. But actually it's got quite a lot of depth to it. And um, I was playing it in alpha, beta and release. I did a lot of bug testing for Elder Scrolls Online. Massive PvP map was a ton of fun. Oh right, cool. Nice one, nice one. Okay, cool. It's nice to follow a game's development, isn't it? I think it's been really interesting, like following not only the game development but the actual mod the business model itself of, of CIG it's a fascinating it's a fascinating thing that you could um, I've just come from there what am I doing like a clown there we go and there's nothing wrong with that uh -uh. right here we go I'm going the long way around. <laughs> okay, good. But yeah, it's interesting to follow a game's development. Oh, hello. Bodies. Trouble. Could be trouble. Let's go the other way. No way you could catch me anyway. Not in the Herald. There we go. That's what I love about the Herald. It's so quick. Here we go then. CRG is a very odd story game dev wise. Um, surprise they're still going strong to be honest. Okay, fair enough. I mean you I think I guess working in your field you have a much better understanding of um, the reality behind hype, if you know what I mean. I expect you can pick up on certain decisions that they've made, business-wise and coding-wise, uh, which somebody like me probably wouldn't be able to even perceive, you know. It's an odd story. Yeah, I mean, I've heard this from a few people, that it's, a, it's an odd company. I think I think Chris is a very odd boss, and I, I've said this before, and nothing against Chris at all. I think it's interesting what he's doing, and I think he's doing, yeah, an okay job. I think I think one of the things that he's a frustrated film director. I think that's the thing with him, and he wants the game to be so cinematic and so immersive. I think it, it's he's applying 
the sensibility of a film director to a game and I think that sometimes that makes the game look absolutely amazing and the polish and the detail is all there but then again I think sometimes that desire to create a universe and create a world it, it's something that can slightly hold back the just the mechanics and the gameplay of it um, coding wise they're taking on something a newest studio has never done okay fair enough personally they need to they need expertise from companies like Blizzard Entertainment um, in order to get server meshing network fluidity working properly okay I get yeah I get what you're saying yeah no I take that mate that's a that's a very good point um, yeah Grim Hex is right occluded there all right well it looks like we're going to the OMs slightly into the OMs okay I see what you're saying but yeah I think it's it's like you can't fault CIG for vision and the artistry is there I think the creativity is there but it's the tech under the hood that is going to be the real killer isn't it that's the thing with this amount of space this amount number of players this level of detail it's uh, it's guys like you that are going to save the day basically it's going to be unsung hero time I think very much so isn't it it's going to be people like who under people who understand what happens under the hood that are going to save this game it's not going to be the Josh Coonses although I take my hat off to him he's done a great job with this ship the Herald but it's an Ian Taylor I love him as well he's a great designer artist but I think it's going to be the the tech fellas it's going to be the Mark events that save the day uh, and it's the same uh, to be honest with you it's the same in circus it's always the tech people that save the day it's always the people who understand I mean I, I can rig so I mean I understand how it all works but it's always the riggers the people who know how to put up their own equipment know how to put up the tent know where the vehicles go know where to put the vehicles know when to refuel the vehicles know when to tighten the tent when to loosen off the tent it's always those people that, that save the day and the popcorn guy of course but I mean you know we need the artists without them there is no circus so it's it's a team effort let's put it that way right now can we find our way in this tiny universe is that gonna happen yes it is here we go where's my widget where's my little widget son where's my widget I know you're in the ring somewhere there you are Can he find it? Yes, he can. Boom. Drive is now on. Nothing I said above is bashing CIG. Good on them. Definitely rooting for them. I want to see this world work. Yeah. No, I get that, mate. I know you're not bashing at all. Absolutely. Quantum drive is now off. I understand what you're saying completely. terrifies me coming into Grim Hex, you know, because I always feel like I'm going to completely tank the ship. Let's just get over here and then slide across. That's good. Landing gear down. Let's just nose it into the... hail these buggers and see what they're about. I'm hailing you, mate. What have you got for me? Something nice and long and green? Very nice. Tucking me down the back stairs, eh? Very nice. I get what you're saying. You're ashamed of me or something? Circus test like, sounds like interesting work. Well, it's a lot of it's a lot of messing about, <laughs> usually in the rain. But yeah, it, it's it's good. It's nice when it works, and it's very much a team thing. Everybody, once you get on tour and everybody knows what they're doing, it can be a real beautiful thing. 
but yeah it's interesting it depends again where you are in the world in France it's very different to how it is over here in the UK it's different again in the Scandinavian countries I think Canada is very much the French model for obvious reasons Okay, here we come. Here we come, tooling along the green line, like a very honest citizen. Let's not mess about too much here. Automated landing. Hey, I've got. I'm going to finish now anyway, uh, so that's perfect timing, Major. 07 to you mate and um, it really nice to talk to you too drop by any time I stream most days I'm not I can't set a schedule at the moment because work is a bit crazy but um, I try to do it I try to do it at least like three or four times a week I would say so drop by this sort of time hey Descartes how are you mate I'm sorry I'm just heading out I'm just gonna drop off now but it's nice and thank you so much for dropping by um, I'll, I'll post this up again if you want to have a look at it. Um, but um, I appreciate everybody who stopped by. Uh, Doomslayer, thank you very much, mate. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for looking at the YouTube channel also. Much appreciated. Thanks for the, for the uh, sub. And Major Lama, a pleasure to chat to you, mate. And I hope I get to chat to you again. Um, take it easy, people. I'm just going to hop out here, I think. Uh, let's just turn him off hop out and we'll head inside we'll just do the final I'd like to do the final uh, the final salute as we come out and take a little grim hex grim hex salute there he is look, look at that lovely Let's find yourselves a nice little spot there yeah, that'll do it. That'll do nicely, mate. Let's give us a, us a little, little chance to be seen. You know what I mean? People, uh, it's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. I hope to catch you again in the stream uh, sometime. I'll probably be on again tomorrow at some point. Descartes, I'm sorry. You've just if you've just dropped by, mate. I'm sorry I've got to get off, but I've got to go. Um, I hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing, and thank you for stopping by. Um, Doomslayer, thank you very much, mate. And again, Major Lama, pleasure to chat to you, mate. Um, to all and sundry, take it easy. And I will catch you next time. Thanks very much. Cheers.